probably the biggest uh, technological innovations we're going to see in the next few years that are going to change our lives uh, uh, is the automation of work, probably, and which we're already starting to see, but more and more being able to work, like computerization and, and automation, to be able to do the jobs that we do, ideally then giving us more time to spend with families or do other more creative things. Um, and I don't think we quite know how that's going to play out because obviously that has large implications on the economy and you know how we earn, earn money to live. And, but I think that's going to be a big change. Already I think we're seeing uh, the impact of technology on the home and workplace in that the two are becoming um, blended together more and more. You know. Traditionally you had your home life and your work life and they were quite separated and you had to go to your workplace to access the technology and, and to have face-to-face -face meetings with people. But more and more you can do that through your technology. So the actual environment of, of an office becomes less important. Architecture and design has, I mean, always has to respond to, to, the, to the shifting technological innovations in, 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 the, in the way we interact with the world. So as technology starts to change the way we work or the way we live, then architecture has to respond as well and design. And so I think, I mean, I think if you take the workplace, the workplace has to become a place that's more where you interact in a different way than you would through your computer or your or your phone because you can do that if you can do that on the move or from home the workplace has to be a place where you can do things you can't do through that so what that what that means we'll we have to work out i think but